hello what's up ali here and on this video we are going to show you how we can uh, convert and use our ps1 save files for the ps vita psp ps2 or any other emulators this is for those who are like me who can't move on from the best gaming generation and just want to uh, jump from one system to another with the same save file for this video, we are going to start on a save file from our PS1 memory card. We will show you how we can transfer, convert, and use our save files to different emulators. For this video, let us try to convert the save file of Final Fantasy IX and 18 hours and 31 minutes on the clock. Because there are some PS2 emulators that will require a specific format for you to be able to use your PS1 save files. We will also show you how we can use this on the PSP and the PS Vita. And also for the Android as well. Before we proceed to the save files, let us go ahead and explain first how PS1 save files works on the PS1 emulator on the PS2. Regarding on how to play PS1 on PS2 the best way possible, We'll just leave a link on our description for a video on how to play PS1 games on our PS2. Every PS1 disc has its own directory or folder. Say for example, this Jackie Chan. This is the game and this is its save folder. Inside you will find its save file. It is actually not a problem for single disc games since you don't have to move your progress. But for multi-disc games, you'll have to move your save file first from disk 1 to disk 2 to be able to load your file. Like on this game Final Fantasy IX. If ever you have completed disk 1, for you to be able to load your progress on disk 2, you'll have to create a save folder first for that specific disk, then copy your save file in that save folder. To create a save folder for a specific game, Simply copy their file name. Since I already have a uh, save file for my uh, Final Fantasy Disk 2, let's go ahead and create a save file for the Disk 3. So copy the file name, create a folder, and just use this file name. So let's say for example, you have completed Disk 1. The game is asking you to insert Disk 2. First, you'll have to make sure that you have a save folder for the second disk. Then copy your progress from the Disk 1 copy then just save it inside the folder of your disk 2 now let us go ahead and convert our games you see on our current file here we don't have a game on 18 hour mark so let us go ahead and convert our save file and use it on this game to copy our games We'll need either a PS1 memory card adapter or a PS2 with MacBoot. Since I don't have an adapter, let's go ahead and use a PS2. To access the save files, we'll have to use the browser in the U-Launcher. And from here, just use File Browser. And this is where we inserted our PS1 memory card. And these are the games, though there are no pictures to check which games is which. Based on their file name, you will have a clue on what games there are. So this must be our Valkyrie profile. This is the Vegan Story, the Monster Rancher, Legend of Dragoon. So I would assume that these are our Final Fantasy IX save files. Let us just go ahead and copy these two files. Press X to highlight the files. R1, then copy. And I will just go ahead and paste it on my external hard drive. Let's just go ahead and uh, paste it here inside the CD. Now these are our save files and we are going to need an application called the memory card Rex to be able to convert and modify our save files. I will just leave a link on our description where to download the file. So just open the link and click on this area to download the file. So inside the downloaded folder, run this application. And these are our files. And since we are going to need this on our Final Fantasy IX Disk 2, we have to get our save file from the Final Fantasy IX Disk 2. Open our save folder. This is our save file. Just drag and drop this uh, on the application. And here are the save files saved in this save folder. Now we are going to import the file that we are going to convert for this specific game. So right click on the slot, click on import, 
and choose our save files. So this is the game that we need to convert. But let us go ahead and check the other file as well. Okay, so this is one of the save files that is already existing on the game. So let us just go ahead and delete this one. So after you have imported the save file, just go ahead and click on save. Now let us go ahead and load our game and see if this save file can be loaded. Alright, so this is the file that we have ported from PS1 memory card to our PS2 PS1 emulator. And speaking of, this is actually my level 1 run for the Final Fantasy IX. So I'm already on the second disc, 18 hours in the game and still on level 1. Anyway, let us go ahead and show you how we can load our games from one system to another. Let's try unloading this to our PS Vita. But since I don't have my Final Fantasy IX saved on my PS Vita, let us go ahead and choose a different game. For the PS Vita, it acts similar to the PS2 PS1 emulator. Every game has its own save file or save directory. We'll just have uh, to convert our save file to a format that our PS Vita can load. You can find your PS1 save data in the PSP EMU, PSP, and save data. And for the PS Vita or for the PSP, it is easier to just simply save a game in-game so you will have a save folder for the game. For this, let us go ahead and uh, try to convert our Monster Launcher 2. For the Monster Launcher, you will notice that we don't have any save files on the slot one. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to import our file from the PS1 and use it on our PS Vita. For this, it is highly advisable to just create a save file first so we will have a save folder on our PS Vita. And since we have already saved a file, we will now have a save folder for the Monster Rancher 2 in our PS Vita. Now let us go ahead and convert and transfer our files to our PS Vita. Back on the PS2, these are the three Monster Rancher files that we are going to convert and use on our PS Vita. So let us go ahead and transfer this first. Let us go ahead now and convert these files to be used on our PS Vita. First, we'll have to open the memcard Rex. Then, we will have to load the save file from our PS Vita. So, let us open the save data on our PS Vita. And we'll just have to look for the Master Rancher 2. For this, we will have to check the save folder and check the icon. And we have to look for our game. Alright, so this is our Monster Rancher. First, we will have to load the slot 1 on the mem card Rex. Just drag and drop here on this application. Seems that we don't have any save data here. Now, we'll have uh, to import the save file that we are going to use for our PS Vita. So, just right-click, import save, then choose our games. Then save. Save it on any folder and name it anything you want. Let us just go ahead and uh, name this number one. So this is our save file. Now for our PS Vita to recognize this save file, we will have to convert this first on a format that our PS Vita can recognize. For this, we are going to need this save editor. So just open the link. You will find the link on our description. And here on this file, choose the file that we want to convert. We will see here the format of the file and from here we will see the format of uh, the file that we want to convert it to. 
and since we are going to use this on the PSP or PS Vita this is the file that we are going to need use that VMP and click on convert now just click on this part to download the file now this is the converted file we can now go ahead and transfer this to our Vita and load our game so just transfer this to the save folder of the Monster Rancher 2 overwrite the file and load our game back on our ps vita these are the three files that we have just converted and they are now playable on our ps vita Using this process, we can convert any PS1 save files from one format to another. Just keep in mind, all emulators have independent save files for each CDs of each games. Now, if we want to use this specific file to a different format, we will need to convert the whole save slot. Back to our PS1 save file converter, let us convert our PS Vita file to a format that we can use on EPSXE. This is an emulator that Android and Windows use. So just choose your file here. This was our converted file. And here we have to choose MCR, a format that Android and Windows PS1 emulator use. And just click on convert. And just click here to download your converted file. Now let us go ahead and try to load this on our Android phone. Now this is our converted file. For our EPSXE to recognize this, we have to change its file name to this one. Zero 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 for slot one and zero zero one for slot two. And since we are going to use this for the slot and we are going to name this 000 and just place this on the save directory of the EPSXE. You will find the save directory of the EPSXE on the memory cards inside the EPSXE. Now I don't want to overwrite this. I may have some important files here. So I will just go ahead and have a copy of this one. I will place it here and place our converted file on this directory. So let us try to go ahead and load our game. So this will be it. Just keep in mind of the format of the save file for a specific system we are going to load our PS1 games and also the directory of the save files. But if you have any questions, suggestions, or any issues that you have encountered throughout the process, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.